be the fast pick for a <laughs> Hold up, I am on my way. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Merry freaking Christmas. I hope you guys are having an awesome day with your family or your friends or like even if you're like sitting alone in your bedroom. I hope you guys have a good day. Watch a good Christmas movie. The Holiday is my favorite Christmas movie if y'all were curious. My second favorite, The Princess Switch. If y'all haven't watched those two movies yet, probably do that. I'm being weird. I am back with my annual What I Got for Christmas video. It feels like just one year ago that I was sitting down to film this exact video, probably because it was. Why am I so weird? Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm just gonna get straight into this video because it's Christmas, so I have other things that I wanna do, but I also love filming this video, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the thing. Let's begin. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in first things first, I'm gonna start off with what my best friend Holly got me because if I don't show what she got me, I feel like she would want me to show it first. She's just the kind of person that she is. Holly got me one of these backpacks and y'all know that I already had this backpack but your girl lost it. How did I lose my ultimate Visco girl backpack? Honestly, couldn't tell you but it was a pretty sad day when it happened. But you know, I was probably on like the ultimate Visco girl adventure when I lost it so I was, yeah, I was pretty devastated that I felt like I was no longer a Visco girl but my best friend, she came through with the goods. So thanks Holly, I started with your gift. Hope you appreciate it. She also got me a Starbucks gift card. She's my best friend. She knows me well. What can I say? Thanks, Holly. I love you so much. What? I'm a little too excited to be filming this video right now. Sorry if I don't make sense. I just have a lot of energy. She's had some coffee. She had chocolate for breakfast. Moving on from my dad and my stepmom, I got Spyro, which Y'all. I used to have this for the PlayStation, but then when Kane and I broke up, he got the PlayStation. I got the Switch, which technically I bought him the Switch, so I probably should have gave that to him, but <laughs> this is like the game of my whole childhood. So yeah, I'm very excited to play. We got some blush bath bombs. Um, pretty excited about this because y'all know that I put 52 bath bombs in the bath like a couple of months ago. So this is what all the bath bombs at Lush look like. <laughs> We've been on a little bath bomb detox situation trying to make up for the fact that that was really obnoxious and over the top. But now, we back. We love Lush. <laughs> this is such a random gift. From Kane, he got me the lazy arm. It's honestly like a phone holder that you can probably clip to like your bed or like your side table so that your phone can sit in front of you and you can just be like lazy. Kind of sounds like Kane is being offensive that I don't want to hold my phone, but I low-key got Kane the exact same Christmas gift. <laughs> Before y'all come for me in the comment section for wearing a sweater in the summertime, she has a bad self-tan on, okay? We're not trying to show you that. I have the AC on. <laughs> I can see the comments like, why does she have a beanie on? Because my hair extensions are always grown out. Why do I why have do a sweater Because I, I have a very bad self-tan on. Okay, now you know. Moving on, my second best friend, Steven, who is Holly's husband. Just to like annoy my best friend Holly, I like to call him my first best friend, just for like the lols. He got me this Harry Potter coloring book because personal friend thing is that we both are obsessed with Harry Potter. So, we have a mindful coloring Harry Potter freaking book. This is my favorite gift. Thank you, Steven. You're a great second best friend. Every time they come over and have a little bestie friend night at my house, we always play games that involve like beverages. No, try to get demonetized. I don't know what gets people demonetized these days, but y'all know. So he also bought me this voting game. The example questions are kind of funny. Whose Google search history would you most like to see? Who would be the first picked for a You can bleep that. <laughs> I don't know, this just seems like a really random game to play with my best friend and her husband, but you know, for my mom, I feel like this gift is kind of funny. She got me an astrology IRL. I don't know, I just feel like this is so random. My mom's actually super into astrology, but I feel like astrology is like really trendy. Great job, mom. So now, so now I can like keep up with my LA, LA friends, friends who talk about astrology, astrology and, actually and actually understand. understand. I'm not kidding you guys. When I met Adeline within like the first five minutes of meeting her, she asked me what my star sign was. Moving on, my mom also knows that I've been doing a lot of traveling recently. So I'm trying to open it. If I had acrylic nails, I could probably get this open. She got me this cutest little like money box situation. It says, let's go explore the world. And you just save your dollar bills up in this so you can actually do it. Which I really should start saving up because she's been traveling a little too much. The bank account ain't looking too good. So thank you.
Thanks, Mom. Also, in her parcel, she gave me some of my fave snacks. So, we love a thoughtful mom that knows me a little too well. As if I need more M&Ms, I literally just ate so many of these after I filmed my DIY video. From my nan, I got this cutie little like side shoulder bag. Shout out to my nan for having like the cutest freaking style ever. And last time my nan came and visited me, we we're going to the beach and I had one beach towel, so she got me a beach towel. Coming through with the practical gifts. We love. I feel lame. Like this last part is just lame because the rest of the stuff I got myself. What I got myself for Christmas. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. I got myself a new suitcase because last time I went somewhere, uh, my suitcase literally cracked down the center. That was kind of terrifying, to be honest. I thought that I was gonna lose my belongings. I didn't get a new suitcase while I was traveling, so I just kept traveling with a cracked suitcase. I was like living on the edge a little bit, had travel insurance, wasn't too concerned, but like probably should have been because I had my camera in my bag. I don't know. Also, like the wheels didn't work. So when I put like 23 kilograms of luggage in there, you could feel all 23 kilograms when you're walking in the airport. She bought another beanie. Honestly, I feel like I need to chill on the beanies. I have quite a collection now a lot of people always ask me why I wear beanies in every season it's because my hair extensions are growing out but every single time someone asks me like isn't your head hot wearing a beanie I'm like isn't your head hot wearing this cap she's a little sassy on Christmas sorry moving on I also because I've been traveling so much and I bought myself literally the most basic suitcase that I probably could get I feel like every human being in the world is gonna own this suitcase I got myself a luggage tag that's an avocado it's the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen if I'm being honest like this is my proudest purchase of 2019 we got a cute little aesthetic travel kit which comes with a blow-up neck pillow an eye mask an eye mask an eye mask and some earplugs. No one is gonna talk to me. With my earplugs and my eye mask and my neck pillow all in this matching print, no one's gonna talk to me on the plane. They're gonna come by to give me my meal and they're gonna be like, no. And she got herself an oversized t-shirt. Whoa, everyone is so shook. Mm, just, yeah, Fisker vibes. No, this was not a Christmas gift. I just like thought I would throw it in this video. I've worn this before. There's something in my eye. Oh, and by the way, would it be Christmas if you didn't get socks? No one wouldn't, so when no one bought me socks, I whipped out this pair that I bought myself last week. I am currently having a huge holiday giveaway and I'm not drawing it until the 1st of January because I'm not even gonna be in Australia until like the 7th of January. So I'll draw it and then I'll ship it when I get home. So if you guys wanna enter that giveaway, then all you guys have to do is follow me on my Instagram account and I'll have the video linked down below if you guys wanna check it out, see what you can win. We got some cute-ish. So if you guys do wanna enter that giveaway, comment anything down below in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Sarah Jane Beth. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting me for all of 2019. I feel like this year was very random and weird and strange for me. But we had a lot of personal growth. I was a little all over the place with my uploads, which annoyed me. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for this year. I hope you guys had an awesome year. I hope you have a really good day, whatever you do today. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Happy freaking new year. Merry Christmas, y'all.